guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and today I'm going to show you all the baby gear that I've accumulated over the past nine months. Well, like not everything, but all the important stuff anyways. <laughs> so I've been holding off filming this video because I wanted to get to a point where I had pretty much everything so I can show you kind of what I gravitated towards and why I bought it or why I put it on my registry. Um, most of this stuff I purchased and a few were gifted to me very generously which I'm very thankful for and yeah I'm 30 almost 36 weeks now and there's just a couple more little things that I need to collect so I thought good enough let's get this video filmed <laughs> so yeah let's get into all of the baby gear that I have which honestly like I thought I had so much more because my wallet feels like it was a lot more but looking at it all it doesn't seem like that much stuff <laughs> It's funny because when I got pregnant and I was watching videos of people online talking about how they're like 30 weeks pregnant and they're just getting their nursery together and I'm like how can you wait that long like I would jump on it so quick until I realized how freaking expensive baby stuff is and you can't just buy it all at once because it puts a huge dent in your bank account like holy so it has also taken me a while to collect all this. Anyways, I've kind of set this up into categories. So let's get started with travel, maybe? I think that's what I'm gonna start with. So, diaper bag. This took me so long to figure out what diaper bag to get, and it was very stressful because I am not a purse person. Uh, I only ever carry like my driver's license and my visa on me or like a tiny little wallet. Um, so it was really hard to pick out a bag because I don't like feminine bags and then also something that my husband likes. Anyways, we decided on a bag that I'm very excited about. It is this, how do you pronounce it? Fjall Raven? Is that it? This guy, this brand. Um, and it's just like a regular backpack in this really nice green color that matches my shirt, of course, my favorite color. And yeah, nothing much to it except it will carry all of our baby needs and I think it will suit both myself and Josh. And so what goes in that diaper bag, you may ask? Well, the wipes that we've chosen, or that I've chosen, Josh doesn't really care too much, but going along with my like natural lifestyle, I wanted to make sure that I picked diapers and wipes that are fragrance-free and paraben-free, because if I'm choosing that for myself, why wouldn't I also choose that for my baby, you know? So basically I just <laughs> go with what's on sale. I have these Hello Bella ones, and these pamper ones. I feel like there's not much of a difference. I think the Hello Bello are a bit more expensive, but they were on sale, so it that's why I got both. Oh, also, I'll link everything down below because I might forget some of the brands. And also to make your life easier. So those are the wipes. Diapers of choice are Pampers Pure. There we go. Pampers Pure. Um, these ones also are chlorine bleaching free, fragrance free, paraben free. And I think we have two boxes of newborn diapers and one box of size one because I want to make sure that the Pampers diapers actually work on my baby before I go and buy a whole bunch. And then this is a little extra and I might think that this is a waste after I actually have the kid but I got this Baby Bum Co diaper cream applicator because I heard that butt cream is really like sticky and is hard to get off your hands because it's supposed to be hard to remove from your skin so that it stays like under the diaper but anyways it can be hard to wipe off your hands and I heard that these applicators help a lot with it but it might be a little extra. We'll see. Uh, the diaper cream of choice, I went with Desitin. I know there's some more like all natural options like Burt's Bees, but they are quite expensive and the reviews said they don't work as well. And this Desitin one is paraben free and I think it is just basically zinc. I don't know, we'll see if this works. The change mat that I got, I'm very excited about. It is a gather mat which are so cool because they're um, vegan leather and they just pack really small. So like this is how small this change mat is, how convenient. I got it in black because I liked that color. <laughs> and so here it is. It just says gather on the bottom if you can see that there. Um, yeah, I just liked how compact this was. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'll just add a couple health items in here while I'm at it. I got this Oogie Bear 
thing. It's like a nose picker um, because apparently this is like a must-have item for clearing out a baby's nose. I despise mucus so much, so any chance I get, I'm gonna get Josh to use this instead of myself. But the thing is, so I heard that these are like essential and super amazing, way better than the sucker things, but a pack of two was $26. Can you believe that? This little plastic thing. And I got it because I'm a sucker and because I've been told that these are super useful. But like, what a rip off. $26 for two of these little plastic guys. It's ridiculous. And then I did also get a, a little sucker thing. This one comes apart so you can actually clean it because um, I've heard the ones that don't come apart can get like mold in them, super gross. So yeah. This guy was super cheap, like six bucks. And then I also have some gripe water, Dr. Chase. Um, I heard that this is a must have for babies with colic. Now for carriers, I have three carriers, uh, which feels a little excessive, but they all serve a different purpose. So the first one I have, I really wanted a ring sling because they seemed the most practical uh, for newborns anyways because they have the like full wraps but it seems like such a headache to have to wrap this huge thing around yourself every time you want to carry the baby so I thought a ring sling would be great this is the one I got it is by Kite Baby and the reason I got this one is because it was sold on Amazon so I didn't have to pay shipping um, the color is driftwood I think which I really like my only thing is that Amazon only sold one color of the the metal rings and it's rose gold which if you know anything about me I hate pink but I couldn't choose the black option and if I were to go to Kite Baby's actual website and order this I would be spending like $20 in shipping so I made the sacrifice <laughs> and bought the pink ring sling. The next carrier is by Ergo Baby it is a little confusing. I don't know if this is gonna make any sense to you. This is what it looks like. I'll put up a picture that shows it better. Um, but yeah, I thought this carrier would be a lot better for say my husband to use or for when the baby's getting a little bit older, just providing some more um, support. And then the last carrier was not an expected purchase, but my mom was at Value Village and she found this for $6 or I think $5. I don't remember. But it's a full-on Ergo Baby carrier for $5. This is, I think, an older model, but new they sell for like $200. So <laughs> when she messaged me asking if I needed another carrier, I was like, no, I don't need one, but for $5, I'll take it because this will be really useful when the kid is quite a bit bigger. because apparently it's very supportive. So yeah, that was an amazing find. Good job, mom. <laughs> now let's do feeding. So I'm planning on breastfeeding my baby. I really am praying that it actually works out because I really want to breastfeed but I know sometimes it just doesn't happen uh, but that's the goal but along with breastfeeding I do want to introduce a bottle so that my husband can feed the baby every once in a while and so if someone's babysitting we can trust that the baby will be fed uh, so I have a few bottles I did get a lot of advice saying not to buy too many bottles because you don't know which one your kids gonna like so the first one I have is this dr. Brown's bottle this came free in um, one of those gift bags from Bye Bye Baby. And then I have the Advent one. This one came free. One of them came from Babies R Us. One of them came from Bye Bye Baby. I don't remember which is which, but there's those. And then I have a Tommy Tippy one. I've heard a lot of really good things about these ones being very boob-like. I don't know. Um, and this one I got at HomeSense for like five bucks. So that was sweet. And then the last one I have is the Medela one and it has this really cool, what do they call it? It's like a special nipple that um, if the baby stops sucking, the milk will stop coming out. You don't need a slow flow or a high flow nipple because it's all dependent on the baby's suction. Um, they are pretty expensive. It's called the Calma 
nipple. They're pretty expensive, but it came with my breast pump, so that's why I have that. And my breast pump of choice. So this was also a bit of an ordeal because I wanted to get an electric pump, but they're so expensive, like $500. And if I can't produce enough milk or if I really am just breastfeeding and I don't really need to pump much, then it might be a big waste of money. So I'm holding off on buying an electric pump until I have the kid and I kind of know where my body is at. But I did buy a manual pump and a lot of you might be screaming at me saying that uh, you're gonna regret it, it's gonna be too much work, um, you're gonna spend all day pumping and you're gonna get hand cramps, which could be very valid. But I have seen some people online say that they pair this with the Haka, uh, which is my silicone breast pump that I bought, and they kind of make that combination work where like once a day right in the morning after the first feeding, they'll pump with this, and then the rest of the day they'll just use the Haka on the opposite breast while feeding. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. If I hate it, I'll get an electric pump. And that's what I've decided. Yeah, this Haka I've heard is also very highly recommended. Um, it just catches your letdown. Yes, your letdown. Um, so you don't waste milk. And then I got this bottle brush, which is like zero waste, which is cool. I don't know why the handle is so long and why it looks like a toilet scrubber, but it definitely is a bottle brush. <laughs> um, my only issue is that it works on all of the bottles except the Medela, it like doesn't fit. So we'll see how I handle that. <laughs> this is another thing that was gifted to me. I put this on my baby registry, not really expecting anyone to get it for me, but someone did and I'm so thankful because I don't have any water bottles that have like a straw, that's what they call it. And I know that you get very thirsty when you're breastfeeding and I wanted to have a water bottle that I could drink with one hand and I didn't have to like unscrew and like, deal with the lid, so yeah, I've been using this a lot. <laughs> and then I also got a bottle warmer for warming bottles. This is just the Philips Avent one. My friend has it and she likes it, so I got it. That's all I have to say. For burp cloths, I just have a variety of uh, thrifted ones that my mom got, which like, I feel like it's a waste to pay full price for burp cloths because they're just like a chunk of fabric that gets spit up on them. So yeah, I just have a bunch of random thrifted cloths. Now, you guys know how I feel about drying racks. I don't like drying racks, I think they're a waste of money, but bottles can't be dried with a towel because it's not sanitary enough. So I, ha I had to get something and I ended up getting this Spoon one, which is very popular. I got it in white because it's more subtle. Um, and also, I'm not gonna be keeping it on the counter because that's ugly. Offense to anyone who <laughs> keeps it on their counter. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I just wanna keep my counters empty. So what I like about this is it's so short that I can put this in my cupboard where I'm keeping my bottles and still put my bottles like upside down on it. And it's not too tall for the height of the shelf. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be drying my bottles in the cupboard. And then lastly, this was not an essential right away anyways, but I got this silicone bib because I was at the store and it was so cute and I bought it. <laughs> um, I was planning on buying one of these anyways when the baby was older, but this is one of those silicone bibs that has the whole catch thing in it so um, food hopefully doesn't get everywhere. Uh, this one's by the company Sink, C-I-N-K. I don't think it would be kink, right? Probably sink? I don't know. This is it. It's in the color fog. It's very neutral, very oatmeal colored, which is what I gravitate towards. Okay, that's all for feeding. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> um, sleep. So I don't have a mattress yet, but I have one on the way, so I'm told. Sheet wise, um, I just have a couple basic bed sheets. This one's by Burt's Bees in white. 
I've been told that white is a bad idea, and it very well could be, but I will take that risk. <laughs> and then for swaddles, um, I went with majority um, stretch swaddles. I heard that the muslin cloth is really good for like breathability, but it's not good for act if you want to like properly swaddle your baby because they can get out easier and the stretch ones really like help lock their arms in. So I got a couple from Copper Pearl. There it is. There's a little label. Um, I got just a plain black one because I like plain black. Um, but then I realized, because, okay, this swaddle was like $40, which is crazy. I know. And I realized that I could just make them myself because they're just like a sheet of fabric. So I went to Fabricland and just picked out a couple uh, stretchy fabrics and I made my own. This is one of them. And like, they're not perfect, like the seam is pretty janky, but it's still like, it's gonna do the exact same job and literally cost me $5 to make. $5, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> So yeah, uh, once I had that realization, I uh, stopped buying swaddles. <laughs> so my plan is to just hopefully swaddle the baby traditionally, but I've heard that that doesn't always work out. So I did buy this Anna and Eve swaddle. I liked this one because it doesn't have the bottom um, and especially because we're having the baby in the summer. I don't want the baby to overheat and I can kind of pick how much I'm layering the baby with this. Oh, something that I'm just going to throw in because it doesn't really have a category is this love nest head breast. I'm thinking that this is going to be a bit of an essential just because I heard it's very common for babies to get a flat head because they lay on their back so much. So this has a little like indent in it so your baby's head sits there and it kind of rounds everything out. Um, so whenever you put your baby down you can use this. It'll be especially great for like when the baby's under an activity center or whatever which I don't have one yet because I'm planning on making one which I really need to get on because I'm running out of time but I'm planning I'm planning on sewing kind of a mat for the baby to lay on and then my husband's gonna make like an arch thing out of wood and then we'll just hang toys from the top. That's the plan anyways. We really have to get to it, but this goes with that. So bathing is next. I've kept it pretty minimal. If you've seen some of my other baby videos, you'll know that we did not get a baby bath because we are trying to manage without one because those things are huge and where the heck am I going to store it? So we don't have a baby bath. Um, we're planning on just holding the child under the water and rinsing. <laughs> Anyways, the stuff that we do have. So um, I also wasn't going to get a baby towel and just use like our towels until I realized like eventually the kid's gonna need their own towel. They, like Josh and I only have one towel each and no one likes using a wet towel. So it just makes more sense to have three towels. You know, I don't have to explain myself to you. It's obvious. <laughs> so I just got this um, Burt's Bees one that is organic cotton um, and has the little hood for the super cute baby. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then for washcloths, I didn't buy anything because I have these Tushy towels from the company Tushy, which is a bidet company. Tushy towels are made to pat your butt dry after you've used a bidet. Uh, and I just never, <laughs> I never used these. And I thought they would be perfect for washing the baby because they're super soft like bamboo cloth. Yeah, so I'm gonna use these as washcloths and they're like so soft. I think they're gonna be perfect. I also have a uh, body lotion that's from Burt's Bees and I got this at HomeSense like 50% off, which is great and it's fragrance free, obviously. And then I have uh, all natural baby wash um, and this is also organic, vegan, gluten-free, not tested on animals. Um, this was also from HomeSense at a discounted price and this is what not, natural organic. And then finally I have some Live Clean baby oil. I don't know, I think, why did I get this? I think I got this because it helps with cradle cap. I think. And then speaking of cradle cap, I have this little cradle cap brush that came in a set with all these brushes which I'm very excited about because 
This one's like super soft bristles and I think it'll be really nice for the baby and then these two will be a bit better for when the child is older for like properly brushing their hair. I don't remember what the brand was but I'll link it down below. Oh actually it says it on here. Chi Bello. I'll still link it down below. <laughs> and then I also have this super cute rubber duck. Um, I always wanted my kid to have a rubber duck to play with in the bathtub because it's just tradition, you know, we all did it. It's like a rite of passage. But also, this one has an indicator on the bottom that tells you if the water's too hot. I read some reviews online that over time this like stops working because this thing was like five bucks. But even if it stops working, it's still a cute bath toy, so I got it anyways. And then the last thing, is this um, this is just a silicone toothbrush and some baby toothpaste I guess I'm told I need this so, <laughs> so that's all the bathing equipment now I think I'm gonna go into the bigger stuff um, I have one last item that I can physically show you and then the rest I'm gonna put clips in or pictures I don't know because they're too large so baby change mat I got the kikaroo which is a splurge and definitely a luxury baby item. Um, I really wanted it because I didn't want to have to continuously uh, wash change pad covers because they're fabric and you're changing a poopy diaper on there so the chances of getting poop on it are so high and I didn't want to always be doing laundry. So I love that this is, I was gonna call it silicone, I don't think it is, I don't know. It's a wipeable surface. Um, it also has like a angle to it so that if the baby pees, it doesn't go up to their head, it like goes down to their feet. Um, and the real reason I ended up splurging and getting this was because I had gift cards to the bay that I've been holding on to since my wedding. Like I got them as wedding gifts and I never shop at the bay, so I just never used them. But now I had a use because the bay sells these Kikru peanut change pads. So I treated myself because it didn't actually come out of my bay account so yeah I'm really really excited about this it's also just so aesthetically pleasing so beautiful next up the baby bouncer that we got um, so I didn't want to get a swing and a baby bouncer because that's a lot of money but we got a baby bouncer given to us by a friend who isn't using it at the moment which is super nice of her <laughs> um, and it's just this basic bouncer nothing special but hopefully it will help entertain the child. And then the bassinet that we went with, I had a hard time picking a bassinet as well because they can be really expensive and also so large. And we live in a small space, so like I went to buy a Halo bassinet because I've heard so many good things about them and someone was selling one on Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks, which is a great deal for what it is. And I went and picked it up and it was huge. Like, I shouldn't say huge, it was just a lot bigger than I expected and it did not fit in our bedroom. So I ended up passing it on to a friend who was looking for a Halo bassinet, so that worked out perfectly. But the bassinet that I did end up going with was this Kidco. I've never heard of this before, but I found it on Facebook Marketplace, of course. I don't remember how much it was, $50, $80? It was pretty relatively cheap. Um, and I liked that this one is like the same mechanics as a camping chair, so it just kind of folds up and goes in a bag. So once we're done with it, we can store it super easily. And it has all mesh sides. The only thing is that I read online that it's pretty short, but I'm okay with transitioning the baby into the crib once they grow out of it because like I said, we live in such a small space that it's not that big of a deal that the baby's in their own bedroom. Oh, I also got the diaper genie gifted to us. I just hear you need one and that's, that's all. That's where we're putting the booby diapers. <laughs> and lastly, the items that I'm most excited about are my stroller and car seat combo. So this was also a stressful choice for me because I initially had found a stroller that I liked and it so I was all set and good, but then it was discontinued in Canada anyways, and so then I was in this panic of like, what stroller and car seat am I gonna get? Because my criteria was I wanted something that uh, can transition to a double stroller because we're planning on having more kids, why buy more than one stroller? Uh, but I also wanted something that was kind of all terrain as all terrain as strollers can get but I wanted something that can easily go on grass and sand and rocks and gravel uh, 
because that's just kind of the lifestyle that Josh and I live. So <laughs> I think I was at like 30 weeks pregnant and I had a panic attack and I was like, I don't have a car seat or a stroller and I'm gonna have this baby soon. And I called up my sister and I was like, I need help, I need to find a stroller. And so she helped me research and by the end of the week we had picked one and we went and bought it. And I should also note that my sister actually did gift these items to us, which was very generous of her and I'm very, very thankful because I'm so in love with this combo. Anyways, I should freaking just tell you what the items are. I got the Thule Sleek Stroller and the Nuna Light Car Seat. So the reason that I went with the Thule Stroller, it comes with four point suspension. So like all the wheels have give to them. So it's a more comfortable ride on all terrain. It's the only stroller that I found that is under the category of all terrain on certain websites when you search through strollers. Um, it has large wheels for that reason. There's so many things I can say. It has a basket at the bottom that fully zips up so when you fold up the stroller those items in the basket don't just fall everywhere. It's super sleek like the name <laughs> says. Uh, it looks really nice and it is convertible into a du double stroller. So it just checked all my boxes. It also was on a mega sale the week that we went on the hunt for the stroller so it was just perfect timing. Um, the car seat I wasn't too picky about but because the Thule is a more higher end stroller the only car seat adapters were for higher end car seats so that's why I went with the Nuna Pippa Light. It also is just a really nice car seat and it is very light. It's either the lightest or one of the lightest on the markets. I don't know but it's very beautiful and very functional so that's what I got and I'm so excited to put my baby in it <laughs> yeah so maybe this was a lot of stuff when I look at it all on the ground it doesn't seem like that much but when I'm talking about it it took me like five years to get through so <laughs> I really hope this was helpful for you guys if there's any expecting moms out there I hope this gives you some guidance on at least what I thought was were essentials as you know I'm trying to keep this as minimal as possible but obviously when I actually have the child and I get in a routine I'm gonna be adjusting what I need and don't need so I'll give you updates on that if you guys want to see more of the baby stuff that I got maybe check out my last video where I talk about all the baby clothes that I've collected over the past nine months. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one.